Grey Matters is a film adapted from a short story by Stephen King. It's just a normal day at Henry's bar until suddenly Richie Geraldine's daughter comes in, terrified and bruised. Her far-fetched story about her father concerns Henry, who decides to take his friends to investigate Richie's apartment, hoping to learn the truth about what happened when he spiraled into alcoholism. It's kind of that struggle of what do you do as a friend? Do you help the person or do you kind of just let them dive into that? When Henry finds out about Richie's daughter, he kind of has this like emotional crisis because he feels that he might be the one who has influenced Richie into becoming this monster. Stephen King has a program online where you just sign up for one of his unpublished short stories and he'll license you the rights to adapt it for a dollar. And he just offers that because he also likes encouraging young filmmakers. In the initial short story, it's basically Henry on his way to the apartments is telling his comrades about what's happening with Richie. There's not really a lot of tension, we're just hearing a story. There wasn't a lot of emotional moments between the characters. It was kind of just, oh, there's something weird going on. Let's go find out what it is. And that was kind of it. You want to keep it true to what the, the actual story is, but you also want to like make it unique enough to where it's not just another Grey Matters YouTube little small video. You see all those before you, you direct it, and it's like, well, these guys just took the Grey Matters story and just didn't change anything and then shot it. It's always kind of frustrating when you really like a book or another form of medium that gets transcribed to film and then it's completely different in the movie. And you're just like, where's all my favorite parts from the book? Why didn't they just do the exact same thing for the movie? And I think it was just interesting to see how transcribing events exactly usually doesn't work very well for film because it's just a completely different structure. And also that it's a completely different writer too. So just because like to an audience standpoint, you really like the original source material, there's a different writer who has to put himself or herself into the story as well. And they can't just take somebody else's story and keep it exactly and feel like that's their story too. So they're actually putting themselves into it and the end product is going to reflect that in some way. What really drew me is when Josh wrote it, he seemed to be drawing on, you know, the fear that everybody kind of has that's like, uh, am I enabling these people to, to further destroy themselves? And that's something that like I personally de definitely dealt with, with like family and with friends. I really had a good time working with Lana and Keenan on this story in pre-production just because I hadn't had a good grasp of what the story really was. And to have the two of them read it and be like, oh yeah, I see that. So what if we do this and we could keep going back and forth and incorporating all these ideas, I think was really interesting. I'm just super excited for people to see it and to see what they think of it. I am really impressed with like what we were able to pull off I'm really happy with, with the team and how it came out. I had a plate smashed on my head. Everybody knew that what we got was all we were gonna be able to get, so everybody was fully tuned in and focused, and we rolled from two different cameras, that way we definitely got it. Getting to watch that playback in slow motion definitely paid off.